Hello, it's Mike here from musicradiocreative.com. This tutorial is especially for Mark Mason, who's given me the fantastic idea to show you how to repurpose things that are in vertical mode. Any video you take in vertical mode, for instance, particularly Snapchat stories, they're usually vertical. You want to take advantage of that real estate. I'll show you how in Premiere Pro. First of all, get the standard screen when you boot up and then drag in your Snapchat story, for instance. I've uh, just grabbed a screen flow of my story for today. Uh, and then also inside the Snapchat app, you can actually get hold of your snap code, which I'm going to drag in as well. That's just a standard JPEG image file. Once they're in your project elements, you then want to go to File, New. You want to create yourself a sequence that is going to be in horizontal mode rather than vertical mode. Uh, so I'll just go for the DV NTSC widescreen 48 kilohertz. In settings, this is very important, you'll want to select editing mode as DNX 1080p. That will change your width and your height to 1920 by 1080, uh, which is full 1080p resolution. Click OK. There's your sequence. Now I can start dragging things into the timeline. Uh, so what I'm going to want to do is drag in this, my snap code, to video 2. You see it puts it right in the center. And the same with the Snapchat story. I'll put that on video 1. And you see the audio goes on to audio 1. Now they're overlapping each other. So how do I solve that? Really simple. Uh, the first thing I'll want to do is zoom out a little bit so my story is in full view. And I will want to take the uh, JPEG file, the image file, and I want to drag that all the way out by grabbing the end of it uh, so that it matches to the end of my story. Otherwise, if I don't do that, it's going to just disappear. See how it disappears. So need to put that all the way to the end. Now, with the Snapchat JPEG selected, I'll want to go to the effect controls up here and select motion. And I'll want to move this over by simply clicking and dragging the position. This is the X position as opposed to Y position. And I think I'm going to want to place it at about 550. You see that puts it on the left hand side. Then I'll do the same clicking the screen flow video and selecting effect controls and motion. And I'll want to pop this all the way over to the right hand side. I'm probably going to put it at around, uh, let's see, 1400. There we go, 1400. But you see it's just a bit too big, the resolution there. So then I'm going to go to scale and scale that down so that my story fits nicely into a two up display in a horizontal video. And there you have it, your snap code on the left, your story on the right. All you need to do now is just go to file and then export media and then it's ready for you to mix down into a video file. Really as simple as that. I hope that helps you and thanks for watching. Let me know how you get on.